happen. So um, on a crop, let me ask you, on a crop, I can see some of them, there are a lot of um, garden eggs on it. Okay. How many garden eggs can grow on a particular plant? Yeah. On a particular plant? Okay, it depends. Okay. Are you getting me? Uh, that is where we explain we explain that when the plant is lacking uh, this thing, phosphorus, it means that it will not set more flower. Okay. Are you getting me? So if there is no flower, there will be less yes. uh, fruit, fruit formation. And the flower is where the fruit, fruit comes, comes from. Yes. Okay. Okay. Are you getting the flower from, the, the more the, the fruit. Are you That's getting it. the fruit formation? It makes sense. Yeah. So averagely, like how, how many can be on a on a particular plant? On a particular yeah. plant. Okay, it depends yeah. if you are using the every if the nutrients in order. If yeah, you are using in order, yes. order you have to have from ten going per plant. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You have to have it every nine days you have to have a ten what a distinct garden is. You guys said you have like almost how many plants do you have? Uh uh, uh in all in the like, two thousand two thousand two thousand and two thousand let's say by ten. <laughs> by <laughs> twenty thousand without <laughs> yeah. okay. So yes, um, we are here on the garden egg farm. We are here to look at um, how to start your own garden eggs. If you're a beginner, you want to go into vegetable farming, precisely garden egg farming. Some information you're supposed to know right from the nursery stage to like the point that they mature. So yes, um, as you are here, Godwin, Godwin, and believer, and believer is going to take us through the process of how they went about it. If you guys can see, their garden egg looks very beautiful. I like the way they've done it to the point where like they've matured and all of that. So yes, that's what we're going to look at in this video. So yes, before we get into it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I always say, liking of the video is very important. Subscribe to the channel so we all get to grow together. All right. So yes, um, Godwin, let us know if I want to start my own garden egg farm. What are the things I'm supposed to know? How do I start? Okay. Uh, if you want, if you want to enter into garden egg farming, first one you need to, you need to have access to the seed. Okay. Are you getting? You need to have a correct one seed. Uh, see that can be resistant to disease and then the weather. Okay. Are you getting me? So what we normally do here, we normally select a seed from what we are doing. Are you getting me? what we have instead for maybe last year? We normally select, select a seed, seed from that one. But if I'm starting and I don't have a seeds, what kind of seeds do you think? I never eat your seeds. And which one do you guys use that you feel like is resistant to the weather and pest disease and stuff? Oh, this one. It's a select. It's a selective seed. Selective seed. See, are you getting me? It's not any. You don't have. You cannot tell you that this one is this variety. This one is this variety. It's a selective. It's selective from what we did last year. Okay. I, are you getting, okay. When you when you have access to the seed, first one we need to prepare a place like in the form of a bed. Are you getting, when you prepare the bed, then you need to nest. Are you getting me? Nesting. You you can do it in a different way. You can do broadcasting method or drilling method. Are you getting me? Broadcasting, you just spray it on what? On the nursery bed. Okay. Are you getting me? By drilling, you, you what? You create a hole. Are you getting on me? The bed. Yes. Are you getting me? Then you do it. Now, when you finish that, you need to water. Are you getting me? You, you, uh, it will start germinating exactly three from four to five to six days. Up to one week, then it will finish your germination. Mm -hmm. Then you have your seedling. Nice. Are you getting me? Nice. And you have to. <coughs> You have to you have to water it consistent. Are you getting me? It needs more water. It needs more water. Are you getting me? Then from that place, uh, you need to apply. You can apply because it's a seed. You need to handle it very well. And you need to apply what a fertilizer. Okay. Are you getting? Me? You can decide to use organic or inorganic fertilizer. But which one would you advise the farmer to use? Okay, I can I can I have to, okay. The advice I'll give to them, I want them to use organic. Okay. Are you getting? But in using organic. There is some of the precautions you need to know. Are you like getting me? No, okay. When you come to organic uh, this thing, fertilizer, a lot of uh, this thing, they, uh, organic fertilizer need a lot of water. Are you getting me? Now, when you use organic fertilizer and you are not uh, this thing, watering your uh, this thing, your seedling very well, mm -hmm. are you getting all of them will die? Oh, okay. Are you getting me? I so get that is it. So you need to water consistent. So the watering consistent is like. A day, three times, or how many times in a day? Should I okay, it depends on the place where you did an, uh, this in the nursery. Okay. I guess we have different type of soil. I guess we have loamy soil, we have sandy soil, and we have okay. a clay soil. Okay. I guess which, which one best is good for garden eggs? Garden egg, we have uh, garden egg, loamy soil is good for garden egg. Loamy soil is good. good for garden egg. So when you are doing what? Garden egg in what? In loamy soil. 
uh, maybe once uh, this thing every day when you are watering it is good i get all uh, this thing three times you can wa you can water it once okay. i get three three days you can water it, water it once yeah okay thank you that's fine all right so from there then you have to start clearing the, the place where you do the transplanting Okay. I get it. So you next to a different place. You transplant. Yeah, you place. transplant. Okay. I get it. Transplanting means that you move the seed from the place where you have it has been next to the main feed. Okay. I get it. That is the transplanting. Moving the After seed. After that, taking five days to germinate. I know. It, it, when it take five days to germinate, it will take about what? Uh, it depends on the nutrient level in the soil. Okay. I get it. Mean. Some of the people say that it take about one and a half months before it gets to the level of transplanting. Oh, I get okay. it, but our own, you know, I take one month. One month for transplant. Yeah, okay. only one month, then we do the transplanting. Okay. I okay. get it. That's yeah. Right. Okay, I want to ask, uh, add something to what he has said. Mean that uh, during the nursery, you can decide to do hardening off. Hardening off is the okay, okay. is the process whereby the seedlings has been exposed to the sunlight. Science, okay. So you can decide to do the hardening off in case so that it can it will not face a transplanting shock when it's being brought to the main, main food. food. So, so the hardening off is it like you expose it to much sunlight or how? Yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes, okay. yeah, yes. Okay. yes. Okay. I get it. It. Yeah. yeah. But if you're it doesn't need much sunlight when you're nursing it. Oh no, when you're nursing it does not need much uh, this in sunlight about three when it's about three weeks then you introduce to the weather. Okay. I get it. I forgot that one. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you have to introduce it to the weather so that it can be resistant to what oh. to the weather. If it's coming, don't have any shock. Yeah. At least we used to it. Yeah, we used yes. to it. Nice, nice, nice. It makes sense. If failure to do the handing off, you might lose some of them. Yeah, it might lose some. Most of them. Most. <laughs> most. <laughs> because, <laughs> because you are just doing. Uh, we are not. This is this place is not what uh, this thing, irrigation farm. We depend on the weather. Yeah, so the if weather. rain does not come, about two weeks, it will die. Yeah, I get you. I get yeah. you. I get you. So, so after a month, as you said, I transplant, right? Yeah. Yes. So when I transplant, what am I supposed to do when I, after transplanting? After transplanting, exactly two weeks, you need to do the first application of fertilizer. Okay. I get you. Whether organic or inorganic. I so when I'm nursing, I do I apply fertilizer. You have to apply so that you can grow very uh, can grow very fast. When I transplant, also you have to have to apply fertilizer. That's after two weeks after transplanting. Yeah, two weeks after transplanting. Are you getting because we don't know whether the, the soil have a nutrient or not. Are you getting me to to apply fertilizer? It depends on the nutrient level in the soil. Are you getting if the nutrient level is low? Are you getting you need to apply consistent. But if me, I'm doing, how okay. do I know the soil it has nutrient or the nutrient level is low or is high? How okay, okay. Before you know that the nutrient level is low or high, first thing you have to check is that you have to see whether the soil is easy for maybe a mechanizing. Is, is it easy for you to use what a catalyst? Are you uh, getting me? Whether, uh, whether okay. it's easy soft. If the soil is soft, it's not hard. If I should have some catalyst, I will show you some example. Okay. Are you getting, if the soil is not compact, it means that the soil is fatter. Oh, okay. It's very hard. It means oh, you... there's no uh, this thing. There's no, it's not fatter. I okay, get it. I get you. Yeah. I get you. Then I from that you. place, if the soil is fatter, we can take it about one month before we do what uh, this thing, uh, this thing fertilizer application. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. So if it's fatter, I can take. I use one month to one apply month, fertilizer. Yeah. It was not fatal two weeks after transplanting. Yeah, you have to you have to do the fertilizer, fertilizer application. Okay. okay. So after transplanting, how long will it take for it to mature? After transplanting, yeah. it will take exactly uh, this thing, two weeks. Uh, two months for it to mature. Okay. And that in that two months, then you start harvesting. So you know it's just it's a three months process, right? Yeah, yes. three months process to uh, you do your first harvesting. Okay, yeah, so yeah, first from one month next, then two months transplanting. Uh, transplanting. Yeah, then so you guys, you can harvest that to like what point in time? You can. You can harvest. It depends. Are you getting? If you have water, that you can give to the grower. You can water it every day, or it have access to water. You can harvest. Two years you can harvest, and even three years you still harvest. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Are you getting me? But if you don't know. If you don't have access to water, maybe to maybe six six months it will be difficult for you to harvest. Wow. So this one will protect it. I guess that's where we start doing the mulching. We we'll protect it to minor what season okay. rain to start. I guess when we protect it, then when the rain started, then we continue to harvest again. I guess because you can't leave it there. When you leave it to that. So the mulching, I can see some of all. There's not some of this. Is there? Is there? Okay. So the one you do that, it, does it, it prevent? It keeps help keep water in the soil. Or yeah, how? it yes. it it increases the this thing, the water holding capacity and the moisture level. Oh, okay. Yeah. It helps so it's, more water it's yeah, in there. yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So, um, speaking of the fertilizer application, 
Um, how do I apply the fertilizers? And what am I supposed to know when it comes to fertilizer application? Okay, when it comes to fertilizer application, what are you supposed to know? Yes. Okay. When it comes to fertilizer application, you have a different method of applying what fertilizer. Okay. Are you getting me? We have broadcasting method, we have drilling method, we have what uh, this thing, ring method. And then you have band words placements. Okay. I guess what we normally do is band placement. You just pour the fertilizer, and then you pour it under what? And under is, yeah. Oh, just from the rubber like that. So you just yeah, you just on you, the kind of fertilizer that you are, you are using. using. Yeah, okay. Maybe you are using MPK. Uh, it's solid, so you just place it around the. Oh, okay. uh, some fertilizers are liquid. Eh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can use the liquid ones. One. You, you can, can use, use the solid one. Solid one. It depends. So the liquid one, you spray it on it, or you spray it. Uh, spray it on yeah, it's the liquid on one. The li are the foliar okay. Yeah. So you are saying an example what? Like the foliar fertilizers. They are okay. foliar fertilizers. Okay. 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 I guess. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. That's nice. They are classified in two ways. You have the solid one, and then the you have the liquid, liquid one. ones. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you can go ahead with the fertilizer application. Okay. okay. When you when you finish your fertilizer application, then. When you get to exactly uh, this thing, uh, one month, two weeks, then it will start what? Uh, this thing. It will start producing what? A flower. Okay. I, and then you start what? Uh, this thing, flower section, uh, flower, uh, this thing, production will set in. I get to, when you come to that place, then you need to, you need to know the content of the fertilizer you're supposed to use. I get to me. Because plants need what? Uh, this thing, 16 nutrients to survive. Oh, okay. Are you getting me? And three of them is very important. MPK. Oh, yes. Yeah, hey, that is MPK. Nitrogen, yeah. Nitrogen, yeah. Potassium. Yeah. potassium. Are you yes, getting? Yes, and yes. they work in what? In series. Or they work in order. So, are you getting? In the absence, in the absence of one, the other one will not work. Oh, okay. Are you getting me? Okay. 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 So, in the first, in the fertilizer I apply. If it's like, I said after one month I apply fertilizer. Yeah. What type of fertilizer? Do I apply MPK or the different type of fertilizer I apply? Okay. After one month, you need to apply MPK. MPK. Uh, but uh, M okay, you need to apply MPK. But uh, MPK, you have different type of MPK. MPK. So uh, you get me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if fine. if we can, if you want me to give some. Yeah, you can give. Examples. Okay. Yes. When you come to uh, this thing, uh, the class of MPK they are classified based on the the content. Mm. I get the chemical content in the bag. Are you getting me? You have a fertilizer like night uh, this thing. Nitrogen content, some, some of them they are what, 20, phosphorus is 10, and potassium is 10. Some mm -hmm. of them they are, uh, nitrogen is 29, uh, phosphorus is 5, and potassium is 20. They are in a they are different, in different category. Okay. So, but at this young stage, you need, it needs a lot of nitrogen. When, mm -hmm. it, when it starts growing, it, it, it needs a lot of nitrogen. I guess so you buy the one that has high uh, proportion high of nitrogen. Population nitrogen. Yeah, that is it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's fine. And now, when when the flower sets in, because nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium they work in order. Yeah. In the absence of one, you are not going to achieve the second one. Oh, are you getting okay. me? So nitrogen help in what in a leaf what this thing development. Are you getting me? And when it comes to uh, this thing, phosphorus is helping what uh, this thing flower setting. So flower formation normally based on phosphorus. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? And we have uh, we have a different type of chemical that contain the phosphorus. Some of them they contain what uh, this thing, potassium. Are you getting me? And yeah. some of them they contain what nitrogen. Are you getting me? I get and you. if the low, if uh, this thing, if the crop have low level of what uh, this thing, phosphorus, it means that it will not what, it will not produce much what flower. Yeah. Are you getting me? I get you. And when the flower is coming, you need to use what a chemical that contain. I, uh, you need to use a fertilizer that contain what a match of what a uh, distinct potassium. Potassium. That's I get uh -huh. So after the using of what potassium to help the fruit what to set. I get him. So failure to do so, all the flower will drop. Mm. Yeah, that is. And all this is done like the month after you transplant. Oh. When it is six weeks, when the flower starts to producing, you need to you need to start con uh, this thing, uh, doing. Fertilizer, uh, this is foliar fertilizer application consistent based on what you uh, based on the chemical level. Are you getting me? The okay. chemical you want to uh, apply on it. If it is in the need of phosphorus, it means that it will not be producing more uh, this thing flower. Are you getting me? Sure, sure. So if you have any question, you can. Um. So for now, the questions are, are, are done in my head. <laughs> for my viewers watching me, if they have any question, they can put it in the comment section so we can. Um. Once you put it there, if they have. You guys should try and at least come and answer some of those questions for them. Ah, okay. If you have any questions, anything that they want to know when it comes to um, garden egg production. Okay. But then on top of my head, um, 
Yes. My the confusion bit of it, and I maybe I think my viewers might be a little bit confused, is about mm. the fertilizer application. Mm. Uh, okay. Because when you're explaining about the various percentage are supposed to have, if mm. the flowering inside this one, mm. my understanding is then after a month you apply fertilizer. Yeah. Yes, after you transplant it. After you do the transplanting, it depends on the soil nutrient level. To show the type of... Yeah, uh, the time you do the first uh, this fertilizer application. So if it is a good soil, you use a, a month. A month, then you do the first... Good, uh, like uh, first two weeks. Two weeks, you have to okay. do the first application. In addition to that, if the plant is lacking any of those three nutrients, it will show. Maybe uh, it okay. is lacking a nitrogen. You will see that the leaves are turning yellowish. Oh, okay. So I think that adds up to what you are saying. Uh, okay. So at that particular uh, at that particular time, you have to give the the plant a particular fertilizer which contains uh, which has nine, uh, more nitrogen. I get you. I get, to answer question, so maybe if it's lacking, like the flowering is not coming out, they have to apply fertilizer that to contain phosphorus. phosphorus. It makes sense so, now. Maybe sense now. I know you understand. I get, I get ah, you. Okay. So maybe the flower the flowers may set, but they are not bearing fruit. Now that's that shows that it is lacking potassium because potassium helps in the flowers to bear fruit. fruit. So potassium is for fruit production. Mm. Nitrogen is for the leaves, right? Yes. yes. The the leaves leaves for for the, the flower, flower, flower formation. Yeah. Ah, he said to me that. Uh, you, now you understand. I understand. I understand. Okay, now. Okay. I believe that those watching us also have a good idea what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. That's okay. fine. So um, on a crop, let me ask you. On a crop, I can see some of them. There are a lot of um, garden eggs on it. Okay. How many garden eggs can grow on a particular plant? Yeah. On a particular plant? Okay, it depends. Okay. Are you getting me? Uh, that is where we explain We explain that when the plant is lacking uh, this in phosphorus, it means that it will not set more flower. Okay. Are you getting me? So if there is no flower, there will be less yes. uh, fruit, fruit formation. And the flower is where the fruit, fruit comes, comes from. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, more the flower from, the, the more the, the fruit. I yes. guess the fruit formation. It makes sense. Yeah. So averagely, like how, how many can be on a on a particular plant? On a particular yeah. plant. Okay, it depends. Yeah. If you are using the every, if the nutrients in order. If yeah, everything is in order, yes. Order, you have to have from 10 going per yeah, plant. On a particular yeah. plant. Yes. You have to have it every nine days. You have to have a ten words at this in gardens. Yes. Plant, yeah. And you guys said you have like almost how many plants do you have? Uh, 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 in all, in it's like about two thousand, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand, and two thousand. Let's say by ten. <laughs> by ten <laughs> thousand without it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And how about, let me ask this question. So when it comes to the pricing of these vegetables, how much do they buy? It? How much do the market women come and buy? It? Okay. How do you go about selling it? Okay. Uh, Selling about this garden egg, we normally put it in a sack, number four sack. Okay. I get me a number four sack now is now costing five hundred CD. Oh, okay. I get me. But as time goes on, the price will start reducing. I get that is why you need to do the farming earlier so that you can get something. I get So me. what season what month is best to grow garden eggs? Oh I will not say I, I it's cannot particular say month. it's the particular month. It depends. If you have a source of water, garden egg is, is good around. Around the year, depending on the rain, they have to uh, time the time right to rain. Yes. Yeah, just like a green maize yes, and stuff. Yes, that is it. Okay, because I, I want to ask because that's that sometimes the price is high, sometimes the price is low. I know it comes. It has to do with like demand and supply. Yeah, yeah When yeah. there is more demand for it, the price it will go, go up. up. But when there's a lot on the market, it will come down. Yeah, yes. But I was asking about the seasons where maybe. They are more in the market and this is where they are less, so people can time and know how best they can yeah. grow up, uh, grow it. So if you are doing irrigation that time it, it will help you because in africa most <coughs> most of us we depend on the rain, rain, yeah, on the rain. so if you are using the irrigation system it will help you you, you meet the best market price nice, mm -hmm. nice, 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 nice. okay okay sure. is there anything else you guys want to ask okay okay and then when you come to uh, this thing insect uh, this thing infestation okay. you need to apply appropriate towards insecticide nice are you getting me and we, because this garden egg, the main problem you have is that only one what inside that normally affects it. Oh, are you getting me? Uh, this thing, white fly. What? Are okay. you getting me? We don't have anyone here because we normally ma uh, manage what in terms of what chemical control. We normally yeah, do it very I like well. the way they look. Yeah, uh, okay. Get so, uh, an thing. affected one. So, you sure, you would say, I share them with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, we need to apply appropriate what chemical. And the one we normally only. When we come to controlling of what? White fly, we have only one chemical. Are you getting me? That we normally use to control it. We have a different chemical, but that chemical I'm talking about, they work for different 
insert uh, insert. Okay. I get it. But that the one I'm talking about now is where only on what? White flag. I okay. get it. Yeah, that is. And what what is uh, that? Uh, box. We normally use box. 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 B O X. B O X box. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Yeah, it's control what white flag. So that's mainly like for garden next. Yeah. I garden next. You yeah. have to use that. Well, especially. Because for garden, uh, only white fly that normally affects them. Affect them. And when the white fly set in, it will reduce what the production that is where you have to manage it very well, very well to yeah. get more from it. Yeah, okay. And let me ask the planting this time you guys used for the crop. What planting this time did you use? Yeah. 90, in, uh, 90 90 by, by, uh, yeah, by 75, uh, 75 in between, in between, yeah. So 75, yeah, yeah. 90. 90 apart, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So at least give you more, yeah, on the farm, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, any other things else you guys want to ask? Any advice to beginners who want to go into garden egg production? Okay, for me, only the advice I can give to the beginners is that when you start garden egg, you need to be very vigilant when you come to uh, this thing, white fly infestation. Okay. Are you getting me? Apart from that, when you are able to use what the chemicals very well, you are, you are, when you are able to focus on the three what nutrients, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You are good to yeah, go. Good to go yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Any, uh, in addition to that, I would advise the farmers that they shouldn't think that if you are cultivating the land on a large scale, is then that you get more. what the more foods or what you need. You can cultivate a uh, half of acre of land, but you can equally get what somebody who cultivated a full, full, land, full land can also get. It depends on the how you manage your farm work. Your farm work. And maybe the planting this time. Yeah, yes. planting this is very important. Very important. Yeah. yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so yeah, um, this will end the video on the garden egg production. I believe you guys have enjoyed it. It's been very informative, but I've learned a lot myself as well. So yes, um, like this video as usual. Like so you should get to promote it to other viewers. Subscribe to the channel so we all get to grow together. Share this video to people who you know want to go into vegetable production, precisely garden egg production, so they can get some of this detailed information um, to learn about. All right. So in the next video, I'm going to look at the scotch bonnet, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, scotch, scotch bonnet. Just as we did for this, you are going to delve into it some information that will be useful so you start your own scotch bonnet farm as well all right i'll see you guys in the next one peace out is there anything else you want us to know about uh, you are talking about how many uh this thing fruit would one plant will produce yeah, at least a minimum a minimum okay it may be around uh, this thing 200 pieces 200 pieces yeah oh, 200 pieces. Per, mm. per three per three it depends we don't joke here I'm not fine. We don't joke. No, we don't joke yeah. I don't know when it comes to fruit setting, we don't joke. Okay. Yeah, that okay. that will bring the money. When you are joking about it, you you will not get it. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs>